are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. Here's your weather video for this Sunday, November 15th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. We've got a strong front moving into the area this morning. Let's uh, take a look at the radar here at 6 a.m. on this Sunday morning, showing a weakening line of showers pushing into northwestern Alabama. A shadow of its former self. It produced a severe weather over uh, Missouri and Arkansas last night. Lots of uh, reports of uh, hail and wind uh, over Missouri last night. But uh, no lightning in it right now. Just uh, a sharp line of showers with some lingering showers behind it. Expected to continue to weaken as we move through the day. Um, mostly cloudy, breezy across north and central Alabama this morning. Some wind gusts to around 30 miles an hour. Places like uh, Decatur, Coleman, Muscle Shoals. Uh, temperatures in the 60s ahead of the front, falling into the 50s quickly behind it. Uh, here's the HRRR showing that drop in temperatures. Locations over northwest Alabama will fall into the 50s behind the front. Here in central Alabama will rise into the 60s, uh, the front passing around noon in the I-59 corridor, uh, and then temperatures falling back into the 50s during the afternoon will be uniformly in the 50s by dark. Uh, falling well into the 30s overnight tonight. Uh, we'll see some patchy frost over north Alabama with temperatures in the middle 30s in the Tennessee Valley, upper 30s uh, as far south as the I-59 corridor. And there might be a frost advisory, uh, especially for the Tennessee Valley, but winds will remain up a little bit tonight, and that'll kind of help. So, But uh, be aware that you might see some frost tonight. Now, this is the uh, HRRR showing the motion of the line of showers, you can see it kind of weakening as it goes. We didn't really get the full effect there. It was a bit of a warm front that uh, pushed into um, western Alabama overnight last night. It sort of, uh, sort of uh, encapsulated the entire area through the night. Uh, early in the evening, it was uh, it almost looked like a wedge factor, uh, but it really was kind of the reverse uh, with cooler temperatures over eastern Alabama. But this system just had no moisture to work with over Alabama. So as you can see there. Um, a few lingering showers through noon. The system is out of the uh, I-85 quarter there by early afternoon. And um, we'll see rapidly clearing skies uh, in most places. Just uh, breezy conditions and uh, a cooler day here today for your Sunday. Now, in the tropics, uh, tropical depression theta hanging on barely out there in the eastern Atlantic. We thought it would be tro post-tropical today, and it probably will. And uh, you can see the uh, circle for iota has been filled in. Uh, this is now a hurricane, rapidly intensifying over the Western Caribbean, and um, it will continue to march to the west. Uh, here's the uh, latest satellite, infrared satellite, showing uh, the rapidly intensifying hurricane now with top winds of 85 miles an hour. The intensity forecasts carry it uh, to varying levels, but many of them carry it into Category 3, Category 4, so there's a very good chance it will be a major hurricane late tomorrow night, early Tuesday, when it makes landfall in Central America near the Nicaragua-Honduras uh, border, uh, kind of in the same area that uh, Ada uh, struck a couple of weeks ago. That area, of course, still recovering from that, uh, the effects of Ada. And then, of course, we're going to have more uh, surge and heavy rainfall and mudslides and all sorts of terrible things. The good news for the United States is that the uh, hurricane will continue to Central America. This time will not continue to the north and uh, be any impact in the United States or anywhere else. Central America will uh, will have to deal with this one. This is Monday um, on the GFS showing the um, tropical system well to the south, high pressure well in control of our weather. It'll be a beautiful day across Alabama, just cool uh, with temperatures falling, uh, well with temperatures staying in the 60s um, all day tomorrow uh, across our area. We'll be um, We'll call for highs tomorrow around 64 after those lows in the upper 30s tonight. Now, Tuesday, uh, again, more of the same. Start off around 40 uh, afternoon highs in the middle 60s. And then for Wednesday, a little reinforcing shot of cool air, 36 the morning low. So a few spots in North Alabama may uh, flirt with a freeze, uh, 62 the daytime high uh, on average across the area. And then as we head into Thursday, high pressure firmly in control. Uh, morning lows in the 30s, uh, afternoon highs in the middle 60s. Um, some You see some of the tropical moisture there. Uh, to the south over the Yucatan, that's probably 
uh, what's left of um, uh, of our system uh, moving that way. And then uh, this is Friday. High pressure still firmly in control, uh, anchored over the southeast. Uh, lows in the morning in the lower 40s. And we'll be approaching 70 by afternoon, so that'll be quite nice. And then as we get into the weekend, again, um, high pressure anchored over North Carolina. We'll be in the uh, lower 70s for highs. And uh, looking out Sunday, Sunday, the weekend all protected. But you can see some moisture beginning to um, uh, move around the periphery of that high. We'll be in the 70s on that day. These are the temperatures off the uh, national blend of models to kind of give us an idea of what to expect. You can see those 60s uh, today, tomorrow, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, back into the 70s uh, for the weekend, and then a little cooler behind the front. This is that first front, uh, Monday night, the 23rd. Uh, some showers and thunderstorms for Alabama. Nothing uh, too severe, but getting into uh, maybe our November severe weather situation. And this uh, lows a little closer to us near Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Uh, this is uh, Wednesday evening, the 25th, the night before Thanksgiving. Heavy rain and maybe some thunderstorms over north Alabama. We'll have to watch that one very closely. Of course, the SpaceX launch today, this is yesterday's forecast, uh, calling for about a 50% probability of violating weather constraints today for the forecast uh, launch scheduled for 627 tonight um, as um, the dragon spacecraft takes off from the kennedy space center and uh, heads for the international space station that'll be fun to watch i hope that the uh, launch can happen today i hope you get a chance to see that well that's your weather video for this november the 15th i'm uh excited to have given it to you and uh, we'll be excited to be sitting in this seat next sunday and until then james will have two days all week of course scott will be back next saturday and until i get that chance again as i always tell you keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from plumbing experts tankless water heaters are easy convenient and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call plumbing experts today.